What's going on, Cryptocurrency Universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. Well, you're just kind of looking at a scrap shelf of some little pieces of art or random little knickknacks things that I've made over the years and just never finished or attempt to finish. One day I'll get to it. But this video is going to be about an off-grid solar system. So, guys, we hooked up our NPP solar setup. This is an all-in-one uh, controller. It does the charge controlling. It has the inverter built into it. It has all the safety features. It also has an auto switching, so it'll switch from AC to DC flawlessly without anything getting turned off or having any issues. It has an 800 watt inverter in it. So I'll put the, all this information down in the description where you can find it uh, and what it is exactly. But for now, this video is mainly about hooking up the solar panels. Today, we are going to wire up our solar panels in series to this system and go ahead and start charging the battery. The battery to the right, the one that is hooked up to the system right now, we're currently going to run a test on a single battery and see what kind of performance we will get. Uh, if you have not watched the other videos, I drained this battery last night. It cut itself off at 10.5 amps. Uh, running this light it lasts for at least six hours i don't really know i fell asleep how long it lasted it started off at 13.2 volts and now it's at 10.5 volts the battery has its own self shutoff system in it as well as the controller but the controller has not been programmed yet and not set up so that it will be another video where i'll be programming and setting this up Although, I probably need to learn that first and then teach you guys how to do it. I got a feeling it's going to be interesting. Uh, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I do know there's you know a few settings. We're going to want to change the hertz. We're going to want to change what charge priorities and so forth. But we'll do that in another video. Today, we're going to teach you guys how to set up and install your solar panels. Actually, they're already installed, but wire them. And so let's go ahead and head outside, guys. And... Check out the solar panels and see how we're going to tie all that in to our system. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us. Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord. So just in case you have not watched the other videos, we have a 500 watt solar panel system set up over here. And I ran a wire on top to the shed, down the side, behind. I have a disconnect system right there. Uh, may add a fuse there at some point, although this is a small enough system, so it does not necessarily need a fuse, but it is something I will be looking into, and that is something to consider. Uh, these are rich solar panels, so if you missed that video, make sure to go check out the video. I do want to get the voltmeter out and test each one of these and see what kind of power wattage we're getting. Unfortunately, today, I just don't have enough sun here. It's cloudy, kind of <laughs> just not going to work for the video. But we are going to run these five solar panels in series and not parallel. Series is going to increase the voltage of our panels. Each panel has is a 12-volt panel, but it has a maximum voltage of 18.5, actually, as we can see on the description. So we have to keep that in mind. The inverter box, the charge controller, the MPP uh, mapping on that device will work up to 80 volts and a maximum of 145 volts. So 18 times 0.5, don't have a calculator in front of me, but right around 90 is, um, which is we'll just fine. So if we have 90, that means we have full sun. If we have 80, that means the MPP mapping is working. What that is, is when you have shady spots on the panel, the panel doesn't reduce down to just that single shady spot. It breaks the panel down into different grids and it only affects the grid that is shaded and the other ones that have full sunlight get maximum power rating. So that's all things to keep in mind. But with to date, with the setup, the 800 watt inverter, this system can only handle 500 watts of uh, solar panels. So we're gonna go ahead and just install the 500 watts of solar panels. 
these 12 volt panels do stay underneath all of our uh, requirements the 148 is a maximum i would not even want to push that too high i would prefer to stay under like 100 110 volts uh, just to be on the safe side um, and then of course your mpp mapping does not going to work if uh, you're over 80 volts so that's not going to matter too much but you guys can mix and match panels you know if you have a 24 volt panel and some other ones it, you're going to have to run it in series when you do mix match panels if you have all the same panels like i have here you can run parallel but if you don't you have to run series um i think series is going to be the best bet for my application and instead of parallel parallel will run it in a higher amp so if each panel is five amps which i'm not 100 percent sure what it is uh maximum current amps yeah 5.41 amps is the maximum one per one so if we run this in series it's going to send 5.4 amps to the charge controller if we run it in parallel it's going to actually take that 5.4 and then times it by uh, 5, which will get you around 27 or so uh, amps. And I'm not exactly sure. I think that would be too high even for this system. I think it maxes out at 40 amps. No, so it should be fine at 27 amps. It maxes at 40 amps. It has a 20 amp wall plug so that you have the option of using AC up to 20 amps. So these are all things you guys need to keep in mind when you are installing and wiring your system. It's not very difficult, it's very simple, and if you want the simple version and not worry about it, just go series. That's gonna deal with the voltage and the amps will stay the same. So in order to wire this in series, what we need to do is we're going to take the end positive and the negative. So first off, let's make this part very clear to everybody. The left side is negative. This end, the female, is negative. The right side is positive. With the little red ring on the right side, it's positive. And it's even marked right there, but it's very hard to see and notice it. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a tiny plus right there, just in case you didn't know. And there's a tiny minus right there. So it's very hard to figure this out. They're not clearly marked uh, any way, uh, shape, or form at least on these panels. Some panels will have them marked right here, so that helps. But these are things to keep in mind. So if we're gonna run this in series, like we are, we're gonna leave the positive side alone, and that's gonna tie to the positive running to the shop, which is what this uh, is here. The left negative is going to go to the positive of the next panel. Then, we take the negative of this panel and take it to the positive of this panel. And we just keep daisy chaining them all the way till we get to the last panel. Once we get to the last panel, we will have the end, which should be the opposite of what we had over here. Over here, we have the positive lead, and over here, we'll wind up having the negative lead in the, as the, the leftover one. So we'll take the negative and then tie that in to our runs that are going to the shop. So it's a good idea, guys, to make sure, as I mentioned in other videos, to leave plenty of length on your cables so that they will reach all the way over to get to there. All right, one other thing I would like to point out, if you haven't already done this, keep in mind your panel locations and that you have plenty of room to attach these guys when you're connecting your solar panels. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. As you can see, they're all well, nice and tight. And, you know, it's not a big deal. You can just use extender cables. So if you need them, you can use them. But I think I've got this set out where I would not need any extender cables at all, and I'll be able to connect this straight in. All right, now, I don't want to confuse everybody, but this is going to be me hooking this up in series. If you wanted to hook it up in parallel... Um, all right, let's not do that. <laughs> Sorry, I do want to confuse everybody. I'm not gonna, I'll make another video to do parallel. We're just gonna do series because that's the best thing for uh, most people and in most situations, especially with uh, this particular setup that the video is about. With Verus, the possibilities are endless. Verus is building the future of a decentralized, self sovereign, quantum ready private ID and global currency that is ready for the world. It's your identity upgrade for a digital world. It's Verus ID. Download the free software at Verus.io and register your Verus ID today.